Music and dancing kicking off today's grand opening of Denver's new Union Station. Governor John Hickenlooper and Denver Mayor Michael Hancock helping to cut the orange ribbon on the new underground bus terminal. The $480 million project finishing on time and on budget. And we found it's already making good on the promise to bring booming business to a once sleepy part of downtown. You can see the change. New tracks, new buildings, and a new underground bus station. This is really just the start of what is going to happen in this entire community. But what you don't see is the economic impact this multi-year project is having on Denver. Scott Reed with RTD says the new Union Station is not only going to change the face of transportation. It will serve about 200,000 people per day within about the next uh, 20 years. It will also change the way people live and work in Denver. And this is just the beginning. When we open the line to Denver International Airport in 2016, you can get any, anywhere on the planet from this location. So it's a tremendous advantage. That promise of interconnectivity already impacting the economy. The theory behind Union Station was sort of a build it and they will come, and they have come in droves. Chris Frampton was part of the development team. He says the proof is all around, building after building going up, more than a billion dollars in private development already in place, all generated from this transportation project, and it's not stopping. There are four parcels of land that we can see from right here that will break ground as new uh, apartments and new office buildings over the next 12 months. There's going to be a grocery store over here, a Whole Foods, and there are a lot of residences. Plus, we will see a lot more uh, in terms of commercial and retail. And the vision extends beyond the short term. Over the next, call it three years, as the rest of the train lines arrive and the rest of the buildings get built, we'll have something like 5,000 people living here and somewhere around 6,000 people working here. And that new underground bus station will officially open to passengers Monday morning. The old Union Station building will open to travelers in July.